Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnichi. I'm CCNA and CCNP certified instructor. Now we're going to cover section 2.2, varieties of Spanish Sheet Protocol. Now, really, you have to know the section 2.1 uh, that we have covered. So um, have a look at that section first, if you have not looked at it. So in this section, list of Spanish Sheet Protocol. First of all is Spanish Sheet Protocol or IEEE 802.1D which was made in 1998. This is the original IEEE 802.1D version that provides a loop-free topology in a network with redundant links. This is known as Common Spanning Tree or Common Spanning Tree, CST, assumes one Spanning Tree instance for the entire bridge network regardless of the number of VLANs. So we have only one Spanning Tree protocol running for the entire topology and regardless of how many VLANs you have. Then Cisco said, okay, that's not very good because we can have a link that's going to be blocked all the time. So instead of doing that, let's just have per VLAN spanning tree. I'll have to explain what that plus means soon. So per VLAN spanning tree means that we have a spanning tree for every VLAN. So for example, if we have 100 VLANs, we have 100 spanning tree running. Now, Cisco was came up with the per VLAN spanning tree first, and which was not compatible with common spanning tree, so they were not able to communicate with each other, which wasn't very good. So that's why the Cisco came up with this per VLAN spanning tree plus, which it was enabled to communicate with the common spanning tree as well. Then we have a rapid spanning tree protocol. You remember the timers? There was too slow for to move from blocking to forwarding mode. You have to wait 20 seconds for max age timers, then another 15 seconds for the forward delay timers, forward uh, like 15 for listening, sorry, learning, sorry, first listening, then learning. That's another 30 seconds, so 50 seconds in total. So they came up with a rapid Spanish tree protocol or RSTP, which is IEEE 802.1W which is an evolution of a Spanish tree that provides a faster conversion than Spanish tree protocol. But it's all about convergence. It's all about that timer. That was 50 seconds, reduced it down to six seconds or less. Now, um, still one Spanish tree for the whole entire, one instance for the whole entire topology or doesn't matter how many VLANs you have. And then we have a rapid per VLAN Spanish tree. So uh, Cisco looked at it and said, okay, well, uh, okay, that's a good, speed up things so we have a common uh, per rapid per vlan spanning tree plus so per vlan spanning tree still every vlan has one spanning tree but it's just rapid now this uh, way you can uh, initiate you can transition from uh, blocking to forwarding in in very very fast time and then both types either cisco or open standard they had the, the advantages and disadvantages. For example, these are the open standard. Anything that you see with 802.1 is open standard. So 802.1D is a common spanning tree. 802.1W is a rapid spanning tree. But because we had a one spanning tree for the entire topology, and it, you're always going to have one of the links on the blocking mode, right? So that's not very good. But the advantage for this is that you only have one spanning tree running. Per VLAN spanning tree, on the other hand, which is Cisco's, now they they are good because they have a per VLAN. We don't have one link blocking. One link can be blocking for one VLAN and can be running uh, unblocked for another VLAN. So we always utilize in all of our links. But the problem with this, the disadvantage is that we have too many spanning tree running in our network. So that's why they came up with kind of like a joint effort, multiple spanning tree protocol, MSTP. Now, used to be Cisco only. Now we have an open standard, which is 802.1S, which is with this, you can map multiple VLANs on the one spanning tree. For example, you can say, okay, imagine that we have 100 VLAN. You can say one to 30 in this spanning tree, 31 to 60 in this spanning tree, and 61 to 100 in this spanning tree. So we have only three spanning tree uh, processes running instead of 100 if you left it to per VLAN spanning tree, which is Cisco, or if you left it to open standard, which is only one spanning tree running for all v on the VLANs. 
So A2201D assumes one Spanish instance of the entire bridge network, regardless of the numbers of VLANs. A Cisco enhancements per VLAN 23 separate the instance of the Cisco implementation of every 802.1D, for example, every VLAN will have their own 802.1D, for example. And it did some upgrades. It does support something called port fast, which we're going to learn a bit later. Uplink fast, backbone fast. This you're going to learn on CCMP studies. Uh, bridge protocol data unit guard, bridge protocol data unit filter, root guard, and something called a loop guard. Then we have a rapid spanning tree, an evolution of the spanning tree that provides a faster convergence, and rapid per VLAN spanning tree, again, faster convergence. And then we have a multiple spanning tree protocol, which is very good actually. You can implement, you can kind of have a, a instances. Uh, so one instance can have 10 VLANs, and the second instance, so many VLANs, and so on. On the table up there, you can see. Um, 8021D resources needed are very low because you only need one spanning tree. It's very slow to converge. And tree calculation, all VLANs. Per VLAN spanning tree is a Cisco. The resources are needed are very high because you have per VLAN. So every spanning tree, uh, uh, every VLAN has their own spanning tree process. It's very slow for the conversions and per VLAN. Then we have a rapid spanning tree, which is 8021W. It's medium the resources needed. It's fast on convergence, that's why it's rapid, and it has all VLANs. Again, the same problem here as well, same as Spanish tree protocol. So rapid per VLAN Spanish tree, Cisco, a very high resources needed, and it's very fast, and it has the problem is per VLAN. Multiple Spanish tree, you can have both of them. The standards that you have a Cisco and 802.1S, medium to high, so depending on how many instances you have. And it's very fast on convergence. And the tree calculation is per instance. So the original IEEE 802.1D standard is defined in its common Spanish tree that assumes one, only one Spanish tree instance for the entire switch network regardless of the number of VLANs. A network running common Spanish tree has these characteristics. No load sharing is possible. One uplink must be blocked all the time. The CPU is spared, only one instance of the spanning tree must be computed. Cisco developed per VLAN spanning tree plus so that a network can run independent instance of the Cisco implementation of IEEE 802.1D for each VLAN in the network. With per VLAN spanning tree plus, it is possible for one trunk port on the switch to be blocking for a VLAN while we are forwarding for another VLAN. Per VLAN Spanish tree plus can be used to implement layer 2 load balancing. The switches in per VLAN Spanish tree plus environment require greater CPU process and a BPDU bandwidth consumption than traditional Spanish tree implementation because we are running separate Spanish tree for all the VLANs. Network running per VLAN Spanish tree has these characteristics. Optimum load balancing can be resolved. One Spanish tree instance for each VLAN maintained can mean a considerable waste of CPU cycles for all switches in the network. In addition to the bandwidth that is used to e for each instance, the send in the BPUs. This will only be problematic in a large network of VLANs that are configured. IEEE 802.1 uh, W RSTP or Rapid Spanish Tree is an evolution to original 802.1 D standard. 802.1W Spanish tree terminology remains primarily the same as the original 802.1D standard uh, Spanish tree protocol terminology. Most parameters, uh, parameters have been left unchanged, so users that are familiar with the Spanish tree can easily configure the new protocol. Rapid per VLAN Spanish tree is a Cisco implementation of Rapid Spanish tree protocol on a per VLAN basis on an independent instance of RSTP running for each VLAN. RSTP supports a new port type called alternate port in the discarded mode. RSTP does not have a blocking port state. RSTP defines port state as discarding, learning, or forwarding. So we have either discarding, or we have learning, or forwarding. RSTP speeds up the recalculation of the spanning tree when the layer 2 network topology changes. 
the RSTP can achieve much faster configuration uh, convergence in a properly configured network, sometimes in lit as little as few hundred milliseconds. RSTP redefines the type of the port and they states, if a port is configured to be an alternate port or a backup port, it can immediately change to a forwarding state without waiting for the network to co converge. RSTP uses type 2 or version 2 BPDUs. The original 8021D spanning tree uses version 0 BPDUs. However, a switch running RSTP can communicate directly with the switch running the original 8021D. Protocol information can be immediately changed aged on a port if hello packets are not received for three consecutive hello times, six seconds by default, or if the max age timer expires. BPDUs are used as a keep alive mechanism. Something called edge port, an RSTP edge port is a switch port that is never intended to be connected to another switch. So every time there is an edge port means either end device or router, but never a switch is going to be or hub going to be connected to it. It did immediately transition to the forwarding state when it's enabled. The RSTP edge port concepts correspond to per VLAN spanning tree port fast feature. Remember in the per VLAN we used to call this, or we call them, a port fast. An edge port is directly connected to an end station and assumes that no switch device is connected to it. Link types. The link type provides a categorization for each port participation in RSTP by using a duplex mode on that port. Depending on what is attached, two different link types can be identified. We have a point-to-point, -point, a port operating in full duplex mode, typically connected to switch, uh, switch to switch, and it's candidate for rapid transition to forwarding state. Or shared, a port operating in half duplex mode connects to a switch to a hub that attach multiple devices. Thank you for watching my video. This has been Astri Krasnici. Please select the link to see how to configure rapid per VLAN spanning tree plus, including port fast and BPD guard. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.